the Fortria Chase is next, and this is a Grade 2, and it's only got six or seven runners in it, which is something of a surprise. And hopefully we won't get too many of these mixed up, because only seven of them, and it's been a pretty long day again today. So Castle knocks at the top for Craig Allen, Angel or Demon for Joshua Sutherland, Brilliant Melody for Alex Cherry, Hightown for Darren Thompson, Slayer Shan Value and Nightstar for Ryan Costello and Vanilla Delight for John Morgan. So seven then. Facing the starter, and the rain appears to have stopped, which is something of a surprise in itself. They're off and racing, and it's started again. So it's Vanilla Delight in the lead then from Brilliant Melody second. They sort themselves out, and Grey's at the front, and Grey at the back as well. So they're over the first then, and Vanilla Delight and Brilliant Melody have quickly gone four clear of Sayer Shan Values third. On the inside of Cassable. Oh, he's gone. The leader's gone. Vanilla Delight went straight through that one and gave the jockey no chance. Catapulted him into the turf. The speed of a thousand gazelles. And let's hope the uh, jockey can get up and walk away from that one because it looked pretty dramatic as he shot out of the saddle and plummeted to the ground. So Vanilla Delight didn't last long. It wasn't much of a delight for the jockey. The horse. He is carried on regardless and is in the lead and quite happy, but it doesn't count when you haven't got a jockey on. So the real leader is Brilliant Melody. Night Stars move through to second now. High Town is third. And then the other three are virtually all in a line as they come up past the big screen. And the winning post pretty a gasps from the crowd when they saw that fall on that big screen because we well, it's all surprised if we get back round there again later and the jockey's still wedged in the turf because he really did go out with some force as they get over number four another one's gone say a shun value this time and that time the horse just didn't seem to take off just ran straight into the fence and we've only got five left of the seven that started and don't forget this is supposed to be a grade two chase so these are supposed to be top class horses these and they're um, not doing so well so far so they get over number five and brilliant melody he's clear in the lead being is he being hampered by the loose horse or is the loose horse helping him? I wonder, we'll see later on. And Angel or Demon jumped up into second there. But it's Alex Cherry's brilliant melody that's clearing the lead by about three or four lengths as they get over number seven and the remaining five are jumping okay. With brilliant melody in front. Night Star second and then Angel or Demon and Castle all knocked together with High Tan just tucked in on the inside at the back of the remaining five so they'll all pick up some cash if they get around as they get over this next one and they're all safely over that one and there's not all that far to go now just a little more than five furlongs and suddenly night star has burst through to take it up so night star and brilliant melody as they get to this ditch and then another one's down castable knocks gone so goodness me that's three gone and four left so are we going to get more finish than don't I wonder they get to number 10 and over that one it was brilliant melody and night star disputing the lead with high town and angel or demon trying to close there's not far to go three more furlongs to go and not many more fences this is the second last oh and that time it was night star who decided to try and get rid of the jockey brilliant melody still in the lead high town is second angel or demon is third one more fence to take then it's brilliant melody on the inside high town up the center of the track looks to be going better night stars trying to get back into it after that mistake they're coming down towards this final fence then there and it's high town on the near side in the lead. Brilliant melody on the rail. The grey night star is third. Angel or demon is beaten. They come down to the final fence then there. And here they go to it. And high town jumped it in the lead. Night star got over it fast and he's trying to close. But high town is in the lead with less than half a furlong to go. Night star's trying to rally. High town needs the line. Here comes night star. High town. Night star. High town just held on. And brilliant melody was back in third and. A race which was far more exciting than it had any right to be, really, with only seven runners. And crashing falls and a really tight finish, but High Tan has definitely won it. A rather surprising odds of 50 to 1 for a Darren Thompson horse. And let's take a look then at the full list of the placings. We don't really need to because we know they all were. It's High Tan that's won it for Darren Thompson. Night Star for Ryan Costello was second. Brilliant Melody for Alex Cherry, third, and Angel or Demon, Joshua Sutherland was fourth, and the other three didn't get around.